Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very different video. The proceeds of this video is going to go to charity, the National Health Service. So there's a link down below if you want to donate extra, but all the proceeds from this video, I'm going to personally donate to the charity. Now, it's not just me in this video. I have asked a load of YouTube creators, some friends, some coaches, some people I respect, if they will give me a small clip of home drills, drills to help you improve your golf at home. So within this video, you're gonna see lots of different creators offering their help for free to enable you to become a better golfer whilst at home during the lockdown period. So great thanks to them. Hope you get behind this video and share the video so we can create as much money as we possibly can for the health service. So if you are from another country and you want to donate to your own country health service, by all means do that. That would be absolutely fantastic too and I'm sure they'll appreciate that. So there are links down below as well in the description to all the other creators channels. So give them a look up, give them a follow and give them support also. So thanks for tuning in today. Hope you enjoy these tips. They'll follow along shortly. So my tip is all about the lead wrist and how we can get the lead wrist into a flatter or even flex state at the top of the swing and the downswing to make you have a stronger club face to hit better, longer, straighter shots. Most amateur golfers I teach and see will have the wrist too cupped at the top and the wrist too cupped in the downswing. So we're going to use a spoon, we're going to place it in your glove, so place the spoon into your glove like so, fasten your glove and you'll see here how the spoon sticks away from my lead arm. Now the idea is at the top of the swing I want you to get the spoon as high as you can into the air, horizontal would be really good, this is overdoing things but it would be a really good feat if you could do that, in the downswing keep it as horizontal as you can. Keep watching to see the other tips. Hi guys it's Rick Shields, hopefully everyone is doing good, staying at home, staying safe, well done to Alistair for putting this great video together. All the proceeds go into such a great cause. I'm going to show you a little drill you can do in the garden to help control your trajectory when you chip it. And all you need is a set of step ladders. As you can see here, I've got my ladder set up fairly close to the golf ball with the flag or a target, whatever that target may be at the end of the green. And all I'm going to try and do here is play it through the first window, the bottom window. So I've got to play a little bump and run. I've got to control the trajectory. Then go through middle window, finally through that top window. As I mentioned, this is a great drill for when you get back out on the golf course, be able to change the trajectory of shots is really key. Easy for me to say. Right, first window. By the way, I know my lawn is quite dead. The kids have been playing on it. It needs a good water and a good feed. First window, little low shot. I've got to change back of the stance, handle forward. I'm going to play a little bump and run. That wasn't a bad effort. I think it just went a fraction high, but a nice chip. Next one, middle window. So I just need to bring that ball across a tiny bit. Middle window this time. Probably going to play it quite normal, not change the loft too much. Oh, no, that's not bad. Oh, it hit the flag as well at the end. And then the last one, I'm going to try and go through this top window. Guys, hopefully everyone's staying safe, staying at home. Again, great video idea, Alistair. Let's go middle, top window of the ladder, straight in the hole. Oh, over the ladder. That's not bad. Guys, stay safe. And we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, it's Pierce from me and my golf. Hope you're staying safe and well. So let's give you a putting tip that you can use up against a wall in the house or even in the, uh, in the back garden like this. And I think we see a lot of golfers when they're putting, there's a lot of movement going on. So they, when they're hitting putts, their body's moving around a lot, but their head could be going forwards, it could be going backwards, it could be going up and down, and then from side to side. And even when you're putting, you're over those short ones and you start peaking early. This can definitely help you. So get up against the wall. If you're wearing a cap, make sure you turn it backwards. And then place your head against the wall, and then just have a few, well, obviously hit putts, but feel what happens when you're doing this. Does your head want to move? around the wall or push into the wall we're only lightly pressing the head against the wall and we're just using it as a reference point to 
is there any unwanted movement going on? Because as soon as your head's against that wall, you're going to feel that. So hopefully, if you do this a while, by the time you get on the golf course, you won't be moving around so much. Now, I can't tell you whether that went in or not because I wasn't peeking early. Stay safe, everyone. Hi, I'm Chris Ryan, and with many of us stuck at home, unable to get to the golf course or practice, this is a great at home in the garden exercise to help you with your rotation. I've got my golf ball set down here on a hitting mat and I've got an alignment stick angled in the ground so that when I take my address the golf ball sits directly underneath that alignment stick. All that is going to do is going to give me some awareness if I start to shift my head too much away from the target or if I shift my head too much towards the target, the relationship between the alignment stick and the ball changes and lets me know the movement that I've made. The goal here is to make some full rotations where my shoulders reach 90 degrees and keep the golf ball pretty much underneath the alignment stick. It doesn't have to stay exactly still, but we want it to stay pretty much over the golf ball. The idea here is to try and rid you of any of these excessive movements, which really compromise your low point control, your ball striking, your flight, and ultimately your consistency. So if you've got some space at home where you can make some swings, a golf ball and an alignment stick is all you need to help you with a turn, and more importantly, a more centered turn. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're well. A great thing that you can do at home, which I do a lot, is making sure I've got some feedback at real time. So I've got my gear here, but I'm facing the conservatory windows. Now, I know what I want to work on in my swing, that I want to create more set, and I want to make sure that I can turn over the right leg. So I encourage you to keep an eye on what you're doing. So make some practice swings, looking in the, the mirror or the conservatory windows, whatever it is where you can see your reflection, and swing at the same time as you actually look and see what's going on. This is going to give you some visuals and actual real-time feedback to seeing if you're doing what you're supposed to. If you then start moving over to the left or you have limited wrist set, you're going to notice straight away. So just a great way that you can do something without hitting any, any goal shots. Get some real-time feedback. It'll make a tremendous difference to actually you making some changes. Hope that helps. Biggest problem with amateur golfers comes in towards impact. It gets too flippy, tend to slow down. So there's two drills that you can do at home. First one, came through your front two belt loops, and then you need a bit of string, and basically just to lasso it together. Place it over your head, underneath your lead arm, and if you want to, you can tie a knot in the bottom end as well, or if not, just grab hold of it. It needs to be the length of your lead hand. Simplicity is keep pushing pressure, to keep it taut. That would mean that you're stopping trying to hit the ball this sort of manner and this goes loose and you're really hitting through the ball and then make sure that you're getting those hips as open as you possibly can and that's just basically going to make sure that you're going to stop flipping on that golf ball. Hi Al, hi everybody, let's stay safe and let's do it now. So guys the real quick tip that I've got for you for today is something that I use in my own game quite a lot. I use it for iron shots, I use it for pitch shots and all it is, I've got a golf ball set up that I'm going to hit and a golf ball set up a few inches behind it. As you can see, I'm going to roll that ball back into the head cover behind. That sets the club on the perfect play on the way back. It keeps it nice and low to the ground. It stops it coming inside. It stops it going outside. And I know from there I can make a pretty good movement onto the ball and hopefully I hit the shot I want. Just like that. Did that just happen? Oh yeah. Hey everybody, my name is Danny Moore and I'm going to give you one of my best tips that you can do indoors to really, really improve your swing or improve the feel of your golf swing. And it deals with the concept of rotation. A lot of people misinterpret rotation. Rotation isn't this. People are trying to rotate their shoulders, they're trying to rotate their hips. Rotation is a result of your body working more in straight line movements here, straight line pressure or straight line forces. Watch this. When you move back, my right butt cheek here moves straight back. That forces me to rotate, whilst at the same time, I'm staying centered. Same on the way through, watch this. My left butt cheek moves back, my weight goes this way into my heel of my left. That rotates my hip and my torso here. I'm not trying to rotate, it's the movement this way. There's two things, helps create rotation, so you help free up your back to your way, uh, way back, helps free up your rotation whilst staying nice and centered. The drill, nice and simple, get on the wall, two pockets on the wall, just off the wall, and push your right pocket onto the wall, or your trail foot here, and on the way down, keep that connected, push your left pocket onto the wall here, straight back, and then 
true. You get the feel of this here, you'll stay centered, you'll get the rotation you want in a much, much easier way. Hope you enjoy. So a really simple putting tip. All you're gonna to need to do is color one half of a golf ball in using a line me up or something like that. The reason for this, it's gonna show us how the ball's rolling when we strike it with our putter. If we're glancing it, not striking it well, we'll get a wobbly roll. If we're striking it better, we'll start it on our intended start line and see it being a little bit more end over end. Let me show you here. So with the glancing one, when we've lined it up to our intended target down here, what we would see is a wobbly roll because the putter glances it and it doesn't look end over end there. As opposed to now when I've got this one lined up to my intended target line with the split of the colours, I use the alignment aid on my putter, take my normal setup and try and now deliver this back square to see that I get a better roll on the golf ball and start holding some more putts. Bit like that one, so real simple tip, try it out. So one of those things that the, some of the best chippers in the world do is they all finish with the club outside the hands in this direction. A lot of other chippers will speed the arms up too much, see the arms going through too far in this direction. That means the arms are providing the speed rather than it match with the body. Kitchen implement here, a little spatula, pop it into the trouser, have it stuck out on the side of the left hip. Now the idea is that you're going to turn that body through and your arms aren't going to hit it. So that means your arms and body are coming through paced together as a single unit. So from here, make sure that bottom body club come back, clip it through on the way through here. This means that the arms aren't speeding up and knocking this out of the way. This is a key thing that all the best chippers and pitchers in the world will do so that you can work out how help get your arms and body matching towards one another. Hey guys, Martin Chuck here. Here's a great exercise to do at home. Get yourself about, get your right hip or your trail hip about a foot off the wall. Rotate your shoulders, put your hands on the wall, and then I want you to feel like you can squat and rotate. Keep your hands on the wall. That'll help you with your separation, lower side, keep your butt back, and give you that sense of a stretch you need. So that's a good one to do at home. Thank you. Hi there, everybody. Andrew Rice here. I've got a very cool indoor putting exercise for you. You need one putter and two golf balls. The challenge, can you get 10 golf balls through the gap? I need two glasses. Two golf ball widths apart. I need two from three feet, two from four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet. See if you can get to 10. It's a tough one. It'll help you with your start line. So, hi Al, this is my 30 second chipping tip for the back garden. A little bit of a challenge for people. We've got three alignment sticks. One, two, three staggered and getting progressively longer we've got to try and take out each alignment stick at the base number one number two number three can we do it all in a row close and the final one final one there i find that if you practice harder make it engaging it's a great way to improve your chipping from home. Hi guys, Ali Taylor here, and here's my favorite little putting drill to be doing while we're stuck at home. So get a 5P piece down on the floor, something nice and small. Get used to hitting putts at a tiny target on the floor. Really get you focused in so that when we go back out, that hole looks absolutely massive. So guys, remember, stay safe. Hope you're all well. Put that into practice and there's lots more great tips on this video. John Watts here from the True Golf Academy. My at home tip is gonna be about the release movement. What I want you to do is grab a football, any ball will do, I've got a Paw Patrol one here. Put some tape around it so you've got a vertical line. Just make little quarter swings where we're going to round pocket height and try and get the line vertical on the way back, line vertical on the way through. Throw it against a wall. Can you get that ball to bounce straight back to you? So you've thrown the ball that angle, not this way or this way. So just a little quarter swing, working on that better release pattern. You can then go ahead and put that ball between your forearms. I've got another one here. Line is vertical. Try and get the line vertical to line vertical. It will feel like you're controlling the movement with your body, not your hands. So it's very much a body release in this movement here, let everything keep rotating. Hope the tip helps.
Good afternoon guys, Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. I've got one quick putting drill that you can do in the house. All you need is three golf balls and your putter. We're going to set up a gate, so with two balls either side of the putter. You can make them as close as you want to make it as hard as possible. And then a ball in as normal in the middle. Okay. What this is going to help us work with is our stroke. Okay, and that slight arc on the way back, slight arc on the way through. And again it's going to help us with our tempo. Any changes in tempo? And we're going to start to hit these two balls either side. So let me give that a go. Give that a go, guys. Hopefully that improves your putting before we can get back out on the golf course. Huge thanks for watching the video. The big message is to stay safe, stay home. Huge thanks if you shared the video and liked the video or commented on the video. That all helps to get the message out there and to get this video out there to raise more money for a great cause. Huge thanks once again to the creators for all taking time to send in their clips and add value to this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you give them all a follow and I hope to see you again here soon.